It's Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Uh, we're playing this one for the boys in blue. Oh, look at this cutscene. Very beautifully rendered. Uh, 2002 cutscene. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> what it reminds me of. It pans over and you see the little three-eyed uh, orangutan pop up. Uh-oh, he's wearing sw swim sh swim shorts? He's got, yeah, he's a bandana? Got his, uh, his swim trunks on. Wait, wait, what's the other name people call them? Baggies? What? Yeah, my cousin used to call them baggies. Baggies? Like, I've heard of I've, baggies on. I've heard of swim shorts, I've heard of trunks. Yeah, swim trunks. Which that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> when I think of trunks, I think of like Where are your swimming trunks? When it, yeah, trunks is either a trunk of a tree or trunks from oh Dragon Ball. Oh or a trunk from like a car, the trunk of the car. Nah. Wait, is a trunk is a word? For the, that's what you call the Sorry, I completely Yeah, like in the, the trunk <laughs> trunk yeah. space. What no, do you mean? I forgot the trunk was a fucking like part of a car. Yeah. What's so. with his mouth? Yeah, he's got two mouths on his face. They is don't. He, they don't oh, connect. Is he always angry? He, he's got a bit of like a. Uh, he's got a problem with his with his face where he can't shut his mouth. I might? It's time you knew. That's how you know this game's Australian. Did Ross do the might. voice? Because <laughs> 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 he's a. Because yeah. he's Australian. Ross is Australian. A great battle was fought over the okay. Looks like a guy in a football Dallas uniform. <laughs> that's a. That's a football player. I was gonna give a football player's name, but then I remembered I don't keep up with sports and. Oh. my father. I was not expecting a giant robot. That's that's one thing I was not expecting from this game. That's yeah, a big gorilla mech with this ostrich guy. That's that's the bad guy. Is that an emu or an ostrich? I don't know the difference between the two. Probably an emu. I, ostriches don't have those things coming down from its beak, do Is they? It emus? That's like in Looney Tunes. No, wait, that's not in the head, and like a, a big swollen thing comes up. Oh shit! You mammals don't deserve to be at the top of Racist. The Whoa. Okay, that smoke actually pretty good. <laughs> like the rest of this is questionable, but that smoke looked nice. You and I were talking about this. Like we missed the times when games focused on like good character design and stuff like this. Just like ma made it fun looking, and now everyone's trying to make it like as realistic as possible. Yeah. You barely get any of those. I mean, Ukulele tried to do it, but everyone shit on it for for one reason or another. I mean, yeah. it wasn't the best game in the world, but you you how much of it did you beat it? No, I got to the boss fight, and then I just kind of was like, okay, I, I think I've played enough. Well, you got to the last boss fight and just called it quits? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you get the gist of the game. By yeah, the essentially, like, yeah. That I'm like, I'd, uh, I'm not going to have any sort of satisfaction from beating it, so... But I played it, so there's that. Yeah. That guy reminds me of Larry David. It doesn't remind you of Dr. Robotnik? Is this Crash meets Ro Ro Robbie Rotten? <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. It, uh, it... it it reminds me of like Larry David mixed with Dr. Robotnik. Uh, I, I meant to say Robotnik, but then I went rah rah, you know, I did that Ryan thing, so I had to end it with Robbie Rotten. <laughs> so you had to land it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Something just happened. This is... Those are the talismans. So those talismans just went flying all over the land. You know, that, that great video game trope where there's like crystals or something that somehow gets scattered all over the yep. land and you gotta go get them. Mm -hmm. So the talismans are gone, and his ancestors, the aboriginal people of Australia, are speaking like to him now. Yeah, like Pikmin, like uh, uh, the Chaos Emeralds type of deal, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ryan! Oh, jeez, We dude, just had nice. cheese pizza, bro! <laughs> oh, dude, I'm giving you a high five for that, nice. You're never gonna believe what just happened. Oh, he talk, he's talking out of both sides of his Why mouth at the same time. I don't like that. That's weird. That's when you showed up. And his eyes are connected too. He's got one big eye. It should be a grimace instead of just like it on both sides. Like that should be like, you know, in the cartoons where like one of the mouth goes farther up yeah, the other yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, Like only on one side. But it's on both sides, so. Oh, they shouldn't have given him eyes on the side. They should have just had the glasses and for the character design. And then we got this weird deviant art looking uh, drawing of, of the character that is not like the rest of the style of the game at all. That does look straight out of deviant art. Straight out of deviant art! I really think the bird would look better without the eyes on the side, because then the glasses, it would kind of remind you of like an Aussie looking thing. I totally agree. Let's uh, let's get a time machine and go back and, and tell the developers that. Say, stop it, take those eyes off his Are you head. making fun of me? No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm giving you a serious suggestion. Do you know anyone with a time machine? I know a few people. I've heard that if you press okay, okay yeah we get it if you press the action button okay bleebly bly bly or bleebly 
Well, probably bly bly, I don't know. Bly bly. Bly bly. Just say it with an Australian accent. Bly bly, I can't that's do it. That's just a mix yeah. of a bunch of things. <laughs> that's that's the one accent that I know I will never be able to master. Well, it's because it's like a hodgepodge of a bunch of shit. I know, Australian is probably my favorite accent ever that exists on Earth, and I can't do it at all. I could say, good eye, mate. And that's, that's about it, and that's not even that good. Good eye, Julius. Good eye, Julius. Now if I reroute yeah, these I keep wires, on, I keep on. It turns into British. Yeah. Every time I try to do an Australian accent, it just becomes British. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are Australians like dirty British people? Pretty much. They're dirty. <laughs> it's like if you put a bunch of British people on a dirty desert island and let them sit for a couple hundred years, they turn into that. Let them fester. Ugh, just just to get just right. Brood in their own filthiness. <laughs> Nasty ways and, and and their censorship. You can't be racist against Australian people, right? It's not like a race of people. I don't think so. So it's not racist. So uh, basically, this guy's just telling us that there's these portals that take us to different regions. Uh, you know, you know the. the, the Are there like usual. snow levels and lava levels and oh, forest yeah, levels? Just you wait and see, Ryan. Because there's no ice in Australia. Mm, there's ice here and there. Is there ice in Australia? Go to Ross's house in Australia, open up the freezer, what are you gonna see? Uh, gum trees. Wallabies. Ooh. And, um, koalabies. There you go. There you go, you did it. You finished it off. There you go. There, there. Oh, whoa! Yeah, we're in the, uh, the billabong now. Billabong? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, I think, I think billabong is a type of place in Australia. Or it's an animal. Something about bong and weed. <laughs> nice. Someone in the comments said, come up with something clever, because I didn't feel like it. Someone someone make a good joke out of that one. <laughs> All right, so this is just a little tutorial level. You know, it's just I think it's just teaching me, so. Oh, I like the look of it. I love the look of this game. I love the feel. Would you mind if I ran around just a little bit? Right now? Just, yeah, you I'm wanna, not going to gonna fight anything. There I just want to I wanna feel how it... It's very responsive in okay. terms of, like, it, it's quick and twitchy. That's the only way I can describe it, is it's very twitchy. Okay, I don't mind it, though. So it's inverted? Yeah, the controls are really bizarre when it comes to the uh, the camera movement. I just want to see... Oh, shit. Yeah, see, it's kind of tricky to get used to. This def Yeah, this definitely came out after Crash, of course. Uh, so do you think this was inspired by Crash? Like, if pr Crash Bandicoot didn't exist, would this exist? Mm, maybe not. I feel like this game, it just kind of feels like one of those games that's like... The studio that made this saw that, you know, like, oh, they have Crash, and that's popular. We need an anapomorphic, you know... We need an animal that talks and is goofy, like cartoon characters. So I feel like this was kind of like this studio's answer to Crash to compete with it. Okay, I got a question. I got this, an answer. This is like I played this on the N sixty four, but it's in regards to Rayman. What oh. is he? Oh my! I've never even thought about what he is. Um, what is Rayman? Is he an alien? I guess because the other characters in the games are also. Some of them are also just kind of loony looking things. Maybe they're just weird looking characters. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Rayman they're is. They're monsters? He's like he's like a weird guess, deformed human. I guess he's a monster. He was a he was a baby that was born really deformed and his parents didn't love him, so they put him in the woods to die, and then he uh became Rayman and grew up and Ray Rayman looks like if you got like sea monkeys and then you waited millions of years for them to evolve, and then <laughs> yeah. Rayman would be the end result of that. That's what that's what comes out of that whole process is Rayman. <laughs> Just wait, just wait, kids. Go buy some sea monkeys. Let them, let them, uh, let put them under a lamp for a couple million years, and you get Rayman. We promise. Sea monkeys. Uh, did you ever have sea monkeys? No. Oh man, we should get some for our apartment. I love sea monkeys. I never had like the only thing I had that was like even close to having like a little critter, I guess, like that would be fish. I mean, of course, hamsters are little critters, but I'm talking about like a collective of many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A single thing. I had an ant farm, and I also had sea monkeys, but all my ants died because they got some disease and turned white and died. That's, that's what happened to my ants. They got some disease, turned white, and died? That's really what happened. They all completely turned white. But sea monkeys, I had a, I had some sea monkeys that, uh, you know, you gotta sprinkle the little, like, egg packing in to hatch them and everything, and I loved them, and they, they grow fast. They get big. They're just tiny little shrimp creatures. And uh, I remember I tried to name them, but looking back, that's really stupid because it's like a million of the exact same creatures. There's no way you can name them. Here's the boys. Got the big boys. They're wearing their flip-flops. Oh, uh, it's Australia. You gotta wear flip-flops. Are Australians known for wearing flip-flops? Nope. I don't know. There's probably someone watching this from Australia right now that is wearing flip-flops. When I, when I picture Australians, like the best way to describe, the, I guess, God. the stereotype would be funny cowboys. <laughs> Like funny isn't like off, like not not normal yeah, or funny like isn't funny, like goofy, comedic. like goofy. I guess both. They like 
the funniness makes them funny. Just goofy, dirty cowboys. <laughs> goofy, dirty cowboys. That's all Australian people are. Sorry, Ross. You know it's true. <laughs> he always okay. comes in here with his big fucking gallon hat. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they're called? Are they called gallon hats? We'll see ya. Look at me go! I got another opal! Yes! Oh, yeah? Well, yeah? I got opal in Minecraft recently. Did you really? Yeah. Did oh. you actually get opal in Minecraft? No. Oh, I didn't know. Is that even a thing in Minecraft? I don't know. You want to talk about Minecraft the rest of the episode? Nah. Legitimate Minecraft discussion? No, it's fine. Take it. There you Jesus. go. Jesus. So they die and their soul gets lifted up. Yeah, so there's, so there's an afterlife. They go to heaven. So that means if I die in this game, it's not going to be too sad because, you know, I'm going to have a heaven to go to. Hey, there's this guy. I'm going to save him. Hey, it's a little... I think it's a wallaby. I think I got to save wallabies, yeah. Go look at that thing again, Matt. I think he's probably gone. He's gone! Damn it! Hey, well, I'll find another one. Ready? I'm gonna throw my boomerang at these crates. Get all these things. I think these are opals. I, I, I they think... are jewels of some kind. I, for some reason, I played this when I was younger. Remember you like being called? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Get him! Sorry. How many hits before you die? Um, I got a little health thing. A little health meter. I don't see it. It's not showing right now. It's only when I get hurt. Uh, here, I'll get hurt just so you can. <laughs> 